everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's been a while, it's been about a week or so since I put any new content up. I did have one video that came out, um, I had pre-recorded that. So if you haven't heard, um, my wife did have our, our daughter um, last weekend, so about a week or so old now. So um, everyone's doing great, mommy, baby, doing fine, I'm doing okay. Um, <laughs> it's our second, so it's fine. Um, but I just want to say thank you uh, to everyone who um, wrote kind kind words on my Instagram when I announced it um, and also on a couple of my uh, a couple of the Facebook groups that I'm in there so um, just thank you uh, very much for uh, sending your well wishes so today is homeworks delivery day for um, my ceramic figurals that I purchased uh, with my own money uh, and I got four of them here so I have a fall one and I have three Christmas ones Still waiting on that um, pumpkin basket from the auto delivery from the fruit baskets in the spring. I don't know when that's supposed to arrive. Um, I checked the auto delivery and it didn't seem to be there even though it says auto delivery on my order. So I got to do a little bit more um, investigation. I don't think that was supposed to ship until October 1st anyhow. So let's get into it. Let's get into this awesome burlap pumpkin ceramic figure. I mean, look, look at this thing. Next to my head, this thing is ginormous. Here we have the silver detail on top there. Um, I, believe, I believe they call this graphite was the color um, on QVC. I believe it's still available, but this thing is just stunning in person. Of course, we take the lid off and we have, you know, the detail on the top there. But on the inside, we have a four wick candle in uh, autumn pumpkin, which I have never smelled before. So this is a new one to me. I'm not going to do a review um, on this candle just yet. We're just going to be talking figurals uh, today. So let's see that'll focus back. And there we go. So they do have a little notch. I'm sure you can see that notch. And there's a notch on the. Um, right there and you're just going to take that and you're just going to line it up and there you have your pumpkin very very cool so next up we have I ordered all these on basically day one when I saw them because I didn't know if they were going to last or if they were going to sell out or you know what the deal is on that so the next thing I have here is the gingerbread house for this year and it's actually a gingerbread, I mean, look at this thing. Um, I could almost wear it as a hat if I wanted to. Um, an expensive hat um, that would probably break if I moved the wrong way. But um, here we have basically a gingerbread village. I mean, look at the detail. It's three dimensional. So you can see that everything's raised. So it's not flat, it is layers upon layers. And it is octagonal, um, as last year's was, as well as kind of how the um, gazebo was. So if we go around, we have the little gumdrops on there. We have the candy, uh, the gingerbread tree. We have the gingerbread doors. This is just all top-notch. All hand-painted, by the way. Um, Harry has said that. Uh, this gingerbread house was very difficult to make. Uh, it's very limited in the quantities. Um, they lost a bunch in the kiln because of how uh, complex um, it was piecing it together. Um, and then, of course, it does have a base. So let me put that down like that. It has a base. And once again, there are certain fitments along the side here of where that would go. My recommendation on this uh, based off last year's experience on the bottom is to go get those little felt um, pads that you would put under a floor, under your chair on a hardwood floor there because um, it can scratch. It's a little rough so it can scratch um, a, a wood table or something like that so uh, that would be my recommendation or get a piece of felt and then just cut it so it just sits on the felt you know, to each their own there. And of course, um, it did come with a candle. So, uh, the, oh, the pumpkin was about $40, about 39 38 something. 
the gingerbread house when I ordered it was $59 and then it went back up to 72 which is full price and then it went back down yesterday and it might still be there to $45 now what did I do I called QVC and I said hey it's within 30 days I think they have like a 30 day policy it's within 30 days of me purchasing it and today and the price is lower from when I purchased it so I was just going to cancel it and reorder it um, but it wouldn't let me do that because it was already uh, processing. So called customer service and the woman said, "Yeah, we can give you uh, give you a fifteen dollar credit. You know what, what the difference was between what I paid and what it was there. We'll give you a credit there." So word of advice, it might um, might work if you wanted to get a price adjustment. I'm not sure how price adjustments officially work at QVC, but um, that was just my own experience. So. Um, so here we have a glazed ginger ale. I'm not going to go into the candles on this video because I am going to be doing a haul video on all the other candles I have coming. I have um, more Christmas lilies coming. I have more uh, fall chrysanthemums coming. I have um, birch coming. I have uh, bonfire. I have all those other candles coming. Um, and I just wanted to wait on that. And I'll just do one big, uh, big video there. So. Um, it's not that bad of a scent. Not that bad of a scent. <clears throat> I like it. I like it. Not bad. Not bad at all. We'll put that inside. In there. And once again, I will give you a more in-depth uh, review of that candle um, when the time comes. Now, I have two of my favorite figurals here. Um, and the story behind these two is when they came online, Christmas in July, um, my wife was with our son, they were traveling um, with her parents, and I sent them a picture. I said, which one do you want? Um, a figure on there, because they were cute. They're adorable. And obviously, he's two years old, so I'm not giving it to him, but it'll be displayed high up, and he can say, oh, mine. You know, so... Um, and he said, I said, you can pick one, the snowman or the teddy bear. And he's like, snowy teddy. So I uh, had to get both. So um, I probably could have just gotten one, but um, I had to get both. So uh, snowy, snowy teddy. There is your, your thing there. So let's start with the teddy bear. These are heavy because they have a candle inside. <clears throat> Once again, these are all hand painted goodness. You see that? I mean, look at that. Just astonishing the detail that goes into each and every one of these. I mean, all hand painted, even the little ornaments on there, and the nose, and the eyes, and, you can, and the, the 3D texture on the. Uh, Santa's hat there, so, and he's sitting down, you know, and it's all the way, all the way around the back. We have that, um, I forget what they call that type of sweater, the weave sweater, the knit sweater, the rope sweater, I don't know, I forget. <laughs> but then on the inside, we have a four wick candle, and this is in toasted vanilla cupcake. Very gourmand, vanilla, caramel, toasted right out of the oven cupcake. So, and by the way, these um, these were thirty six, I think, and change. Um, on the bottom, it does say up to a thirty hour burn time. So, it's a fourteen ounce candle with a thirty hour burn time on both of these. I'll show you the other one, but I mean, look at that. Once again, we have the notch. So you line the notch up uh, with the notch, or with the thing that's on the head, and you are good to go. Same deal, you're going to move these around a wood table. Certainly highly recommend putting some kind of felt on the bottom. Now, this, this dude's my favorite. He is absolutely my favorite. He is perfect in every way. I absolutely love 
the snowman and look at the detail on this snowman. We have all the 3D texture on the hat. We have it on the scarf. There you go, focus. We have it on the, the hat there. And look, even he's not even smooth. He's he's bumpy like a snowman. And look at the glove. I mean, just the detail that Harry and his team put into this is just insane. I mean, look at the, look at that. You know, when you see these on QVC, you see them on TV, they don't really do it justice. But this in person is just amazing. And now inside we have trim the tree and a forework there. That's your boozy apple cider scent. Um, I would probably have liked to seen an outdoor scent in this. Um... Just because I think of a snowman, I think of outside. I don't think of like an indoor party candle, party scent there. But not that's not to detract from the um, snowman figural or the scent. I mean, the scent is nice. Don't get me wrong. It's not a horrible scent. I like it. I enjoy it. But in a snowman, I'm thinking maybe frozen balsam. Maybe, um, you know, the winter birch. Maybe one of those... Um, outdoor deck the halls type candles so uh, once again we have the notch so that's it for the figurals and now i'm just going to give you a little little sneak peek i have the woodland cabin candles here let that focus see that little focus uh, if not <clears throat> on my candle video you'll see this scent the Woodland Cabin is out of this world. I absolutely love this candle. Mountain Air, um, also very good. When you think of um, outdoor masculine candles, um, some companies, most companies, go right to the cologne. Right to the cologne. Um, not with these. These are authentic outdoor fragrances. So no coloniness about them so that is what i have for you now like i said i will be back with more homeworks um four wicks and uh, a diffuser so all right guys well uh thanks for watching hit the thumbs up button hit the subscribe button um i will have more homeworks content coming throughout the season so stay tuned and i will see you all real soon so once again thank you again have a good one